What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. And Ahsoka came out late last night for me. I, I hopefully late sometime for you. I don't know. I don't know when this video is going to go out. Hopefully here soon. But uh, I haven't watched it yet. I'm planning on watching it. We're going to watch it for Ball Busters. So come check us out. Uh, we'll, we'll be complaining about it there. I know my buddy Adam, the Renaissance nerd, has already watched it. He was also fondling some unicorn balls at the same time, but hey, it is what it is. But we, we, we're we starting to get reactions coming out. We're starting to get information coming out. And we're starting to get some of the weird comments coming out. Dave Filoni calls Disney Plus Ahsoka a religious experience. Oh my God, it's a religious experience. Oh my Lord. So what what exactly did he say? What will come down here? So. I will say this. I will probably get in trouble for saying this, but Dave saw one of these, the episodes already edited together, and he walked up him and Carrie Beck both like glossy eyed, and he said to me that it was a religious experience. Oh my God. So he was already, he's already seen episodes. This is probably beforehand, oh, August 8th, a few days before. This came out before everything. This is, you know, the hype and everything like that. Oh my God, it's a religious experience. It's amazing. Seeing this creation that I made should have killed off a long time ago and is now the center point. Point? A point? Whatever. Center point of Star Wars is like amazing. Ugh, I despise Dave Filoni. He did what he did. Decent with Clone Wars after that, he's done nothing good. He's not your savior. He's a garbage human being. And he talks like this. But, let, let religious experience. Well, what are some of the mainstream people thinking? Uh, screen rant. This is, this is screen rant, by the way. This is shill rant. Mixed Ahsoka reviews drop. It's Rotten Tomatoes score below all seasons of The Mandalorian. Ooh. Well, I mean, that's just one outlet. What, what else do we got? Independent Ahsoka review. Disney's latest Star Wars outing is flat, flimsy, and devoid of life. Only two stars. Wow. That, that's an uber right-wing outlet right there, by the way, guys. That's uber right-wing. NPR, also uber right-wing. Star Wars Ahsoka has a Jedi with two lightsabers, but not much else yet. Oh, you know, they, they caveat with yet, but it's not much else. Another uber right-wing site. What, what's here? Comingsoon.net. Soka episode one and two review. A mixed Star Wars opening. Eh, not that That's the nice one I've seen so far. I've seen some that are blatant shills, but... A Soka review. Observer. The most lifeless Star Wars installment yet. Ooh, that doesn't sound good, but here's Deadline. Deadline's gotta be praising it, right? Ahsoka recap. I am a Jedi. Hear me roar. Ooh. That doesn't sound good. That, that sounds like I'm woman. Hear me roar. I am Jedi. Hear me roar. This doesn't sound good so far. This, this is continuing down. And even the Hollywood Reporter is getting in on the action. Ahsoka review. Disney Plus fluffy new, new Star Wars series starring Rosario Dawson is the anti-Andor. Well then. That's, that, that's a bold statement there. That's a bold statement because Andor was also bad. So is this means it good no it means it's garbage it means nobody cares about it, it means like hollywood reporter and all these outlets loved andor adored andor and hate this and i'm not shocked i mean the trailers don't look good at all i told the guys for ball Busters, hey we got to watch this show for friday we're going to talk about it. we're going to interact with it and the amount of pushback i got was unbelievable they all hated me for it and now i'm over here reveling in their suffering it's going to be fun. It's going to be wonderful. But I, I do have a mild spoiler for the show because this is the talking point right now. Again, I haven't seen the show yet. But I have, we've seen enough of this over and over and over again to know that de to be getting stabbed to the stomach by plasma saber, plasma sword doesn't equal death anymore. Ahsoka Sabine Ren twist just insulted prequel fans. Yep. Yep. Yet another 
<clears throat> you should be dead moment. But guess what? She's not dead. She just heals herself and moves on. Man. Man, don't, don't you just love that? Don't you just love how Qui-Gon Jinn... You know what? We'll, we'll come over here. Qui-Gon Jinn gets stabbed in the stomach by Darth Maul and dies. A badass all-around man gets stabbed and dies. Sabine doesn't. But what, what else do we have here to look at? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, this one's not as good. Han Solo just walks into a lightsaber, but he dies from a lightsaber stab. So that's two. It's two people that have died from lightsaber stabs. What else do we got? Oh. Darth Vader stabbing What's-Her-Face from Obi-Wan. Hmm. Yeah. What else do we got? Oh, look, Sabine. Oh, uh, well, we also got this. I just saw these. Oh, yeah. He gets stabbed and doesn't die. He gets stabbed and does die. And he apparently has two stomachs. That was the excuse for him getting stabbed and coming back. He has two stomachs. I kid you not. That was an excuse. Consistency doesn't exist in Disney Star Wars anymore. Nobody's excited for Ahsoka. They're already making fun of it. They're, nobody wants to watch this. And I'm going to laugh at the suffering of my Ballbusters co-host. It's going to be amazing. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get all your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you guys Are you guys excited to watch Ahsoka and revel in the joys of Ahsoka? Because I sure as hell am not. And... Like, you know what? Put those thoughts all in the comments below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.